and we are on air hi guys my name's brianna and i've recently been in and out of the hospital which if you keep up with my videos you would know from my little video called why i've been gone and i am still sick but today i thought i would tell you about what happened so let's get right into the video First of all, yes, I am aware that I look like a mess, but we're just going with it. I'm just trying to keep up with my videos, or catch up rather, and at least just be entertaining and not really care about how I look because I'm still sick and then you're gonna get a mess for a little while. Secondly, I know the title, wow, I don't have appendicitis, keyword, don't. A bit of a, why, why is she talking about appendicitis if she doesn't have appendicitis? But that's going to be the key element in this story time. So I guess let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I know the days and stuff I'm going to say to you guys aren't really going to matter or make much sense considering we're on different timelines. But I'm just going to say the days as I go along so it um, I can keep myself on the right track so Tuesday I was in school and I was fine for most of the day lunchtime came around and I just couldn't eat I don't know I just kind of felt sick couldn't eat so I didn't eat my lunch but I still felt pretty much fine throughout the day and then later you know I had a club after school stay started to feel horrible, could barely keep my head up, I was like falling asleep. <laughs> to the point like I was I was just like so ready to go home. I was like, I don't know what's wrong. So my boyfriend's helping me stand up because I'm so dizzy and like lightheaded and stuff. And I'm walking out of the school. Get in the car, I automatically curl up into a ball and my dad's like, Are you okay? And I'm just like, I don't know, my stomach hurts, you know, all that stuff. But just thought I was sick so I go home and I'm like you know living my life go to sleep wake up I'm in excruciating pain so horrible I'm like screaming and crying it hurts so bad so <clears throat> I didn't know if I should wake up my mom or not because she doesn't wake up until my brothers go to school so my dad works nights and he doesn't come home until 8 and then he goes to sleep so I knew he'd be awake so I decided to call him instead of wake her up and I'm just like look I'm really feeling horrible can I stay home from school he says yes and that when he comes home he'll take me to the doctor anyway the day goes on and it's just getting worse I'm just screaming and crying in pain so much of the day and like it's just not a fun time my mom calls my dad and she's like, when are you coming home? You know, she's still crying, like, she needs to go to the doctor. So, he comes home and we go to the urgent care center. So, it's kind of like a doctor, but I guess faster. I don't know. It's like not a hospital, but not a doctor's office. I don't really know what it is. Anyways, we go to the urgent care and the lady there... She does, like, where they press on your stomach to find out where the pain is. And <clears throat> she presses on my stomach, and it all the pain is in the lower right quadrant. So that is where your appendix are located. So she goes, you have appendicitis. And I was like, you're kidding, right? And she's like, no, 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 that's it, you have appendicitis, and so I start crying again, and then my dad's like, oh, because my parents didn't ask me where the pain was, but my dad has had his appendix removed, so the second he saw where the pain was, he was like, it must be appendicitis, so she's like, you need to go to the hospital right away, you know, your appendix could rupture, and I had an extremely high heart rate, I think it was like 150, and it's supposed to be between like 60 and 100, so it was like insane. So we get in the car and we go home first. We tell my mom, I uh, get some things in order. I post the last edited video I had ready to post. And that was the last video I posted before I took that break from posting. 
so <laughs> I posted a video, got my stuff together, got in the car with my mom. My dad had to get my brothers ready and dropped off someplace, um, my mom's friend's house or something like that. I don't remember where they went. And he was getting me to set the hospital because at that point we thought appendicitis. Okay, you're going to have surgery, have your appendix removed. My parents both wanted to be there. So my brothers, my dad was handling them and my mom to take me to the hospital. So we rushed into the hospital and tell them, you know, it's her appendix. This is like a severe emergency. So I get rushed to priority, which means I'm the next person who's going to get called in. At the hospital, I think my heart rate was was like 155, 160, so it was just getting higher and higher. Um, doctor sees me almost right away, and he he does the little push on the stomach examination thing too, and he goes, you know, just from this little I've seen of you, I tend to agree with what the other doctor said, but we're gonna have you in, and we're gonna do some tests, so. At this point, we're like, okay, two doctors think I have appendicitis. I have appendicitis. That's it. And my mom tells all, like, my family members and stuff like that, you know, grandparents, whatever, you know, Brie has appendicitis, she's going to have to have surgery, and all that stuff. So at this point, we are all fully convinced that I have appendicitis. I tell my boyfriend, you know, if you want to come to the hospital, I'm going to have surgery, blah, 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 blah. Like, everyone is now thinks I have appendicitis. I'm laying in the hospital, the pain is so bad, they ended up giving me like a really small dose of morphine to help the pain and I started feeling so good. I was like, no more pain, I was like, this is great, I was feeling fine, um, they had me on so many meds, um, the morphine actually felt really weird when they first put it in, I was so like woozy, I was like, ooh. Um, but I had this one nurse and she was so nice. She had like pink in her hair. She was cool She was really nice to me and she made me feel a lot better um, And then I had to get a cat scan. They wanted me to drink like the contrast or whatever But I was like feeling nauseous already and it was just making me feel worse So I ended up not drinking it and I just went into the cat scan with IV contrast only um, But it ended up working out fine um, they, they said that the CAT scan came back completely normal and that it was not appendicitis. So, now it has been hours of us all thinking it's appendicitis and we're like, what? Um, and the hospital, they were kind of weird about it. They were like, you know, we'll do a urine test too and they tested for, um, some other stuff, I don't remember what. And they were like, yeah, it came back fine. And they were just like, you're just sick, you could go home. And I was so confused. I was like, how can you think I have something as serious as appendicitis and then just be like, you're fine, go home. Didn't make sense to me. But there wasn't really much we could do at that point. So we left. It was still Wednesday at that point. So we went home, you know, tried to eat a little bit. I didn't really eat too much. It wasn't really settling well with me. But I ate a little bit and then I went to sleep. Next day, stayed home from school, was still feeling horrible, horrible, horrible. Um, next day, Friday, stayed home from school again, still was feeling horrible. So, Friday night, my um, dad took me to a different urgent care. It wasn't, ur it was like PM Pediatrics. So this one was like just for like kids under 18. And this lady was really nice. Um, she asked me a lot of questions. She felt around my stomach a bit. Um, she asked for all the information about the blood work I had gotten at the other hospital because when I did the IV, they took blood as well. And she was basically like, you know, here at this office, there's not much else I can do for you because we don't have any sort of equipment, but I think you need more visuals. You need to go to the hospital and get a sonogram and stuff like that so they can see more. I don't know. She didn't. She said she didn't know why the other hospital wouldn't do a sonogram. So, <laughs> now we're like, maybe it is appendicitis. They just couldn't tell. We're like, I don't know. Do I have appendicitis? Do I not? Who the heck knows? So, 
she is really nice. She called up. We went to a different hospital this time. Uh, this one had a um, more specialty area in pediatrics. Um, the wait for that hospital was so long. We got there at like 11. We didn't get in, I don't know, till what time. So, but they, this was, so this was Friday. I left late into the day, Saturday, from this hospital. I was there for a while, like a while, almost 24 hours, I'd say. But anyways, so we get into that hospital and there they check all my vitals and all that stuff and they give me more IVs and stuff like that because for this sonogram you need to have a full bladder. So they're pumping me with liquids and I'm not filling up. My bladder's just not filling up. The sonogram lady keeps coming in and like the sonogram thing hurts so bad because they need to see everything. So she's just pushing right on the spot that hurts over and over again, trying, looking, pushing and shoving around on your stomach, trying to see what she can see with her little thing, with the jelly and all that stuff. And it was so intense. And she, I kept having to tell her, can I take a break? Because it was hurting so bad. Um, they ended up giving me more morphine at this hospital too, to try and help with the pain. But my bladder wasn't full enough for the sonograms. By the time they came back for the sonogram and it actually worked, I wasn't on any meds anymore. And it was hurting a whole lot. So they're just pushing around down there. And eventually, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours after being there, like during the day Saturday, and we had been there all night, they finally get a clear view. They say that my ovaries are fine and my appendix are fine because ovaries are in the same spot as the appendix but on both sides so they were checking for both in the sonogram and they said it was fine and you know they did some more tests everything came back fine so in the end what they eventually told me they told me that this probably started off as just a small like you know normal sickness but I'm really bad when I get sick of keeping myself hydrated and healthy and that, um, you know, when you get a cold or something, a little, like, things in your throat, they swell up, your lymph nodes in your throat swell up and it makes you worse, it makes your throat hurt and stuff like that. So they said that in my stomach these lymph nodes swell up and one of them really swelled up so big and that was like causing most of my pain and all that stuff and that she basically just told me like you know I've been in the hospital now I've been staying getting hydrated um, and I just basically need to be able to drink and eat on my own and try and flush this out and bring down the swelling of these lymph nodes and that's basically what's wrong with me so it was not appendicitis but for so long we thought it was thought it could be and it was just such a crazy experience like thinking you're having surgery thinking you're not not knowing what's going on it was just intense so i thought i would share that story with you guys but yeah now i'm just trying to get better and catch up with all the videos i missed so that was saturday and then I'm, now I'm, I'm filming this, it's Tuesday, I think I'm going back to school tomorrow, not sure when you'll see this video, when I get around to editing it, I hope it's soon, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know, just need to start getting some videos out there, but yeah, I hope you understand and have patience the fact that I need to catch up now and hope you understand why I've missed so many videos. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Happy Vetted. For those of you who don't know, Vetted stands for video every day in December, which even though I missed the first few days in December, I still want to do and will catch up so I am able to do it. But yeah, that's it and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.